two minutes from the exam is fine. <sighs> okay, now the second part is making the update and the delete whatever are this. Okay, first of all, what I am need to see what is delete parameter delete function should look like. If I say I need a delete product like this where it can be a product as a P or a delete product with an integer product ID something like this okay I don't have such any function okay I'm gonna add a function named delete commit uh, static return with a boolean delete command and what it should have a string name so where the name comes it should delete that command <coughs> okay what I need what I, I need a x document load uh, I'll just call paste these all cores next document is loaded all the commands are in the descendant database okay what I need now is a save script like we have in the default database CS here it is I'm gonna copy all this and put it in there so this time I am not adding a new comment to XML file so I'm deleting this code adding all commands to the XML file okay so it's streaming like this is error server HTTP context dot current dot server and what I need to do I have to prevent this for loop to save for a record which is going to delete so if if item dot descendants name dot first element dot value dot to string is equals to is not equal okay is equals to the name parameters coming from the database so it is not equal to then save it otherwise just iterate it and in the last return true that's it okay now I am attaching this delete up here next for delete use the function delete this thing returns boolean delete command returns okay far good good to go now I have to uh, add a column here edit columns sorry enable deletion and save it refresh the page just delete the user at hotmail and on clicking something happens but nothing is gonna change over here just refresh this page and nothing is changed okay let's change the database let's see that XML file so the name user is still there what the mistake we have done so far name string okay I'll have to say add to generate columns I'll have to say what should be the its delete parameters name mm -hmm. just delete these parameters from here and say okay 
data source id <coughs> data key names key name should be the name it must be followed by an equal okay if i just want this name should be go to the delete method after clicking it the name is gone and after clicking this the test user is also gone so what is this this is the data key names so, uh, i am getting let's look at the function first this is getting a name this function getting a name and it's doing the same thing when the name uh, when the uh, name of the com uh, current command is equal to the deletion uh, deleted name it should not write these lines should have ignore file okay right and how it gonna get the name this is from the this thing data key names like when we are deleting or updating see the data key data key means deletion or updation are depend on this key so i'm the deletion process is gonna finish what we need what we need to do an update process just copy paste it all first of all let me see what the copy uh, update method should prototype next update it's saying update product or product id and the string name and the price okay fine good what i go gonna need is copy this function as it is <coughs> sorry name it update comment it should have a string name it should have a string email and it should have a string message okay as the my lower all things will be same just here i will gonna say if else just copy these lines I'm say when it comes with the name the when it matches the name like I'll just say when it matches the name equals to then name should be the name coming from the database and email should be the coming from the parameters and message should be the coming from the message okay that's cool uh, that these few things i think we need to change okay uh, adding the update method next update choose method update commands finish and add the editing section here okay save it and run it finger crossed uh, must say email george that if change it to hotmail.com update and this is updated let's look at the default page george at hotmail okay what i need i need not to allow the user to change the name because it should be read only so <coughs> I'm sorry again. It's my tough edit template. Uh, go to the source view. In the source view, uh, field name, header text is all fashion list, and say read only is equals to true. So this means when I'm gonna edit, name should not be able to change and here it is name is still there now why it should not be equal to change because uh, the name is a key if we change it it's not gonna be deleted or gonna be update i'm just in a comment this is the test comment haha -ha. update it's updated check on the default page 
it's updated like adding new name gym gym at the rate of yahoo.com message last comment post we posted and admin it's there let's let it deleted that's all we are done with the admin panel too if you have any queries or question uh, let me ask i will be here to help you out ask nadia on the live person thank you i will be uploading this video soon and you will be getting a link soon take care bye bye